What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over the campaign URL builder. So how you can build campaigns and track marketing campaigns directly into your Google Analytics account. So the campaign URL builder you can easily find, just go to Google, search the campaign URL builder or the Google URL builder, and this will be the top link. I'll also put this link in the video description. Now I've kind of gone over this recently in one of my other videos, but I want to just focus on the campaign URL builder today and go over exactly how it works. So when you have an analytics account, so your Google analytics account for your website, you're able to track everything that's happening on your website. So you can track where your traffic is coming from. You can see the goals that are happening on your website and set up different conversions. And you can really understand everything that's happening on your website and use it to make decisions to increase your overall website traffic and drive more conversions for your business. Now, one of the things you might wanna do is look at acquisition and see where your traffic is coming from. And specifically, you might wanna look at individual campaigns. So if you come here to your Google Analytics account and you can see I'm in acquisition and I come down here, you click on acquisition and the drop down is gonna come. You're gonna see campaigns and we're gonna click on that and you're gonna see all campaigns right here. So this is where we're gonna to focus today is on this individual page in your analytics account because you're able to track your marketing campaigns and see what your best performing sources of traffic are. So when you run future marketing campaigns, you can continue to use that data in your favor and really get the most out of your budget and out of your time. So the best way to do this is with the campaign URL builder. So with the URL builder, what you can do is you come in here, you enter a website URL, a campaign source, a campaign medium, a campaign name, you can use a campaign term here, so that's gonna allow you to, you can see here, identify the paid keywords, but really you can understand the type of targeting that you're using and which targeting is performing the best for your business. You can also use campaign content, so if you're running multiple advertisements or if you have a couple different ways that you're driving traffic back to your page, you can adjust campaign content as well. So to give you a quick example of all of these different things, we're gonna come back over to analytics and you're gonna see I have a search campaign here. So I have some data from my search campaign. If I click on the search campaign, it's gonna automatically pull in source and medium. So you're gonna see the source is Google and the medium is CPC. So if we come back over here to the campaign URL builder, so our campaign name was Farmhouse Gold Search Campaign. So the campaign that we actually clicked on and then you're gonna see source and medium are Google and CPC. So that's gonna be the same source and medium here. So just some example data. So if you're running traffic from multiple sources with different mediums, whether it's cost per click, whether it's social traffic, you're able to track all of that separately using the URL builder. Now all of this data comes in automatically because I have my Google Ads account linked to my Google Analytics account and I have auto tagging enabled. So all of this is automatically being tracked into my account. Now if I come over here to secondary dimension, one thing we can do is we're gonna type in keyword. So you're gonna see advertising and keyword. So if we click right there, so now we can see here the source and medium of our traffic and the different keywords that actually drove traffic back to our website. So these are the keywords that I'm targeting in my Google Ads account. And if we come back over to the campaign URL builder, you're going to see campaign term right here. So that's going to be the paid keywords that drove traffic back to my website. Now, the other thing here is campaign content used to differentiate ads. So if I come over to analytics again, and we're going to stick here in secondary dimension. And what we're going to do here is add content. So this is going to be add content right here. And that's going to show the different headlines that actually drove the traffic back to my website as well. So you can see things top rated farmhouse cabinets and then some of these other ones just kind of match the different keywords that I'm targeting in my ad groups. And then the best part about this is as we scroll over, you're going to be able to see all of this data and what drove the best sources of traffic back to your website and really what gave you the most value. So if we come over here, you can see this gave me some great value over here and it's specifically towards copper farmhouse sinks. So that ad group actually outperformed some of these other ad groups just based on the ad content. If you're tracking your Google ads campaigns in here as well, you can also just come over here and do ad group and you're gonna see Google ads ad group and it will look at all of your different ad groups here. So all of this is really helpful when you wanna see how things are performing on your website and how some of these different sources of traffic are performing on your website as well. So the way to use the campaign URL builder is let's say for example, so I'm on my farmhousegoals.com website here, and let's say it's almost Christmas time, I wanna run a campaign to drive traffic to this page. So 100 plus farmhouse Christmas decorations and holiday decor. 
So there's a ton of different products for sale on this page. If we scroll down here, you're going to see there's all sorts of different products for sale that are all related to farmhouse Christmas decor. So if I scroll back to the top here, what I want to do first is I want to make sure I'm driving traffic to this page, Farmhouse Christmas Decoration. So we're going to copy our URL. We're going to come back over to the campaign URL builder and we're going to paste it here. Now, the next thing is going to be campaign source, campaign medium, and we're going to keep the same campaign name for all of these different links that we're creating. So under campaign name, what I want to do here is Farmhouse Goals Christmas Campaign. Okay, so I'm gonna be able to track everything that's happening on my website and see how these different sources of traffic are performing. So if we come over, I create a notepad and I just wanna go over some of the different sources of traffic that I'm gonna focus on. So you're gonna see Pinterest ads, Pinterest social, Facebook ads, Facebook social, and email referral. So these are the five different sources of traffic I wanna focus on as I'm running this campaign. And we're gonna see what's gonna perform the best for us and where we should spend the most of our time, especially as we get into the new year and we run more campaigns next year. So the first one is gonna be Pinterest ads. So I can open my Pinterest ads account here and you can see I can set up an ad group, I can set up all my targeting, so scroll down, maybe I wanna enter some different keywords like farmhouse Christmas decor, all of these different things. And then as I keep scrolling down here, you're gonna see tracking URLs here. So you're gonna see event type clicks. So I'm able to set a tracking URL here as people click on my Pinterest ads. So we're gonna come over to our campaign URL builder again and under campaign source, what I'm gonna do is Pinterest under campaign medium, I'm gonna be doing CPC for cost per click. And then campaign term, what I can do is something like farmhouse Christmas keywords. And you can name these however you really wanna name them. So I don't have to put the hyphens there, but I'm just gonna put the hyphens there for this example. So campaign term is gonna be farmhouse Christmas keywords. And then campaign content, what I can do is just pin one. So the, one, the first pin that I'm gonna be advertising, this is how I wanna set it up. So we're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna see it's gonna create a URL here. So it's gonna have farmhouse goals, farmhouse Christmas decorations, and then you're gonna see UTM source, Pinterest, UTM medium, CPC, UTM campaign. And you're gonna see farmhouse goals, Christmas campaign, and then you're gonna see term and content. So we're gonna copy this URL here. And what you would do is you would come over to Pinterest ads and you would paste this tracking URL right there. And then as you come into the place where you're keeping track of all your links, you can do this in a Word document, you can do it in Microsoft Excel, anywhere you wanna track your URLs, wherever you're most comfortable doing it. I'm just doing it in this for an example for this video. So we have Pinterest ads here, so I'd come down here and I'd copy and paste this URL. So now I can keep using this URL and I can always update it so you can see UTM content here. If I adjust my advertisement, if I adjust my targeting, I can always copy this URL and just change those things right there. So if you come over here to UTM term, I can just get rid of farmhouse Christmas keywords and put something like retargeting or interests and try to target people that way. You can also co always come over to the campaign URL builder, come up here and just adjust any of these things here. So if I do retargeting, it's going to automatically change the URL down here at the bottom. So if we come down, you're going to see UTM term retargeting. So I can copy this URL come back over to notepad. And if we come over here and scroll down, we can click that one there as well. So if I'm running multiple campaigns, we're gonna be able to see what's gonna perform the best and we can actually test different targeting against each other. Now next is gonna be Pinterest social. So let's just say I come to my Pinterest account and I'm creating a new pin here. So I come here, create a new pin. So I wanna upload my pin. And one of the things I wanna do is add a destination link. So what I can do is again, come over to the campaign URL builder and I can keep the same website URL, keep the same source, and under medium, what I'm gonna do is social. So we're gonna do Pinterest social, so I know that I'm driving it directly from my social traffic, and I'm not actually gonna be promoting this pin. So we're gonna keep the same campaign name, campaign term, so there's not gonna be any paid keywords here. So what I can do here is just do organic, so then I know that it's organic traffic that I'm getting from my Pinterest page, and then campaign content, I can, if I'm uploading multiple pins, I can change this for each individual pin and I can see which pins are performing the best for me. So for this, I can do pin one, maybe I'll do organic pin one. Maybe I'm gonna create a total of 20 pins and we'll see which one performs the best and then I'll know which designs, which templates to use in the future. So we'll come down here. We're gonna copy this URL, come over to notepad and we're gonna do the same thing for Pinterest social. 
Now next is gonna be Facebook ads. So let's say I'm creating a Facebook advertising campaign and I wanna drive traffic back to my farmhouse Christmas decorations page. So we'd come over here to the campaign URL builder again. We're gonna come up to the top, same website URL. Our campaign source is gonna to change to Facebook. Our campaign medium for the first one will be CPC. And then campaign name will stay exactly the same. Campaign term, so let's just say I'm using a retargeting audience here, so I wanna target anybody who's visited my website, visited any of my Christmas pages. I wanna target them with my Facebook ads. And then campaign content, what I can do is Facebook ad one. So just something simple like that. You can make sure you're keeping track of everything that you're doing as you're setting up your advertising campaigns and as you're driving social traffic. So I'll come over here, we'll copy URL, and we're gonna do the same thing here in Notepad, Facebook ads, copy and paste it right here. So now we're gonna come over again to our campaign URL builder. Same thing, Facebook, the next one is gonna be social. So we're just gonna change this here. Facebook will stay the same, website URL, campaign name stay the same. Campaign term, so we could do the same thing again here, organic. So I know that it's just social organic traffic. I'm not paying for any of this traffic. And then campaign content, let's just say I'm putting out a Facebook post. One thing I could do is just use the date. So let's say the post that I'm doing is on 10, 15, 2019. Then I know which post is actually driving that traffic. So you can adjust this if I'm gonna do one on the 15th, maybe I do one on the 20th. Um, you can always continue to change these over time. And I can also do something like 10, 2019, and I can do video. So if I'm doing a video one day, maybe another day I'm doing a slideshow, maybe another day I'm doing a carousel. So you can adjust all of these as you're setting up your Facebook posts or any of your social posts. You can do the same thing for Twitter as well, or if you're sending out LinkedIn social posts, any of these different ideas, you can adjust these with campaign content and term. There's no real rule for what you're gonna put here. You just wanna make sure you have things that you can remember so you can go back and look at the data and understand it. So we'll just keep this as 10, 20, 2019, and we'll just keep it just like that, and we'll copy URL. And again, we're gonna come back over to our notepad. We're down to Facebook social now here. Okay, so now the last thing that we wanna do is enter an email referral one. So we'll come down here a little bit, and let's just say we're gonna send out a message to our newsletter. So we're gonna come back over again to the campaign URL builder, come to the top, campaign source. So you can see there's things here, newsletter, Google. So campaign source here, what I'm gonna do is newsletter. Campaign medium, what I'll do is email. We're gonna keep our campaign name the same. Campaign term, I'm just gonna change campaign term to email as well. And then campaign content, we could do the same thing. We'll just use a date. So we'll just keep this date the same. And I can adjust this as well if I do email, I can change it so I understand the different types of content that are driving traffic back to my website. So we'll come down, scroll to the bottom, copy URL, and we're gonna come back to our notepad again and we're gonna paste this URL. So now we have a bunch of different tracking URLs for when we're sending traffic to this page. So now we understand where traffic is coming from, who we're targeting, the type of ads or pins or posts that we're putting out there, and we're gonna be able to see the overall impact of all of those different sources of traffic. And it's gonna really help us understand for future campaigns. Okay, so coming back over here to the campaign URL builder, let's just say I start driving traffic to these different pages. So we'll use this one as an example, and we'll say, let's say I send out an email to the people that are part of my email list. I'm gonna copy this URL. Every time someone comes to my page and they click on the URL, they're gonna come right here and they're gonna have this entire URL as they click it. So it's gonna be UTM source equals newsletter, medium email, campaign will be our farmhouse goals campaign, the term will be email, and the content will be the date right here. So someone goes right here and they enter this URL, they click on it and they're gonna to come to my website. Okay, so they come to my website, you're gonna see the tracking URL at the top here. So let's just say they scroll down and they'll click on one of these products here. So they like this wreath right here and they click on learn more. I'm able to track all of that and I'm able to track it back to a different source. I can also see, let's just say someone comes here, they scroll down, maybe they just wanna to go to a different page. So they open this page right here. So for this Christmas tree, so they wanna learn a little bit more and come and see more about this Christmas tree. If there's other pictures, maybe they wanna look at the description and ultimately maybe they wanna add it to their cart and click here and it's gonna bring them to the page on Amazon. So that's really how my website works. But what I'm able to learn is the different sources of traffic and how they're performing. And you're gonna see the tracking URL is gone here, but because I sent that person 
to my page with that tracking URL, Google Analytics will track them around my website until they leave. So it's gonna be able to see all the different pages they visit and whether or not they complete a conversion on my website. Now what we can do is we can come over here to analytics. Let's just say we're driving traffic from all those different sources. We have today's date here, so October 10th, and we have acquisition. We're gonna to come to campaigns and we're gonna click on all campaigns here. So we're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see my farmhouse goals Christmas campaign. So it's just gonna have one user here because I was the one clicking the URL. So it's just showing one user with seven different sessions. It'll have my bounce rate, my pages per session, average session duration, goal conversion rate. So how many goal completions are here? Now this data might take a little while to come in here properly, especially for goal completions. It's not gonna happen completely in an instant because I completed more than two goal completions as I went through my website. But what we can do here is under campaign, if we click on the campaign, it's going to open up source and medium. So you're going to see with our source and medium, we're going to come here and make sure we're showing all the rows. Okay, so we have Facebook CPC, Facebook social, newsletter email, Pinterest CPC, Pinterest social. So all the different ways that we are sending traffic to our website. And now what we can do is under secondary dimension, let's type in keyword again. So under advertising and keyword, you're going to see some of the different targeting that we set up. So you're going to see for Pinterest CPC, we had farmhouse Christmas keywords, and we also had a retargeting example. You're going to see Facebook CPC. We have retargeting here, Facebook social. We just have organic newsletter email. We just have email and then Pinterest social. We just have organic as well. Now, what we can also do is come here and type in add content so we can see which specific things drove the best traffic to our website. And you're gonna see some of these different examples. So Facebook CPC, we had our Facebook ad one. Facebook social, we had the date. Newsletter email, we had the date and we put email here. Pinterest CPC, we had our pin one. And then Pinterest social, we had our organic pin one. So we can continue to track everything that's happening and we're gonna be able to see what's driving conversions on our website. So you can see here, now it's showing four goal completions and you're gonna see two are tied back over here to our organic pin one. So you're able to learn more and more about the different ads that you're creating and what's driving traffic back to your website and what's actually help you helping you drive conversions on your website. And this is all done with the campaign URL builder. So you can create campaigns here and you can send traffic to your website and then keep track of the different sources of traffic specific to those campaigns. You can see the campaign medium, so whether it's organic, paid traffic, your email list, and then you're gonna be able to see things like the targeting that you're using. So campaign term, this can just be used as targeting, and term in analytics is keyword. So if we come over here, you're gonna see content, and this is gonna be ad content. So the other thing here is if we click here, it's just gonna be keyword, and that refers to term in the campaign URL builder. So it's a little bit confusing because it's not the same word, but if you just use the term here as you're creating your URLs, and then you come over to analytics, you're gonna see keyword right here. And then obviously we have source and medium right here. And then if you ever wanna go back, you can always come over here and you can just click on all, and that's gonna bring you back to the all campaign screen. So if you're running multiple campaigns, you can always go back and see some of the other campaigns that you're running. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. You can also change your primary dimension up here, but Jenny, what I'll do is I'll click on the campaign that I wanna learn more about, and then you're gonna be able to see how many people have visited through this campaign, and you're gonna be able to see some key data like goal completions, goal conversion rate, average session duration, pages per session, and you're gonna be able to learn more about the different sources of traffic and over the course of a year and several years, you'll, you'll learn so much about the different sources of traffic that you'll be able to run the best possible marketing campaigns for your business and for the goals that you're trying to drive. So if you have any questions about the campaign URL builder, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.